Please stand by for our broadcast from the National Emergency Warning System. G'day guys and welcome back. Um, we're now looking at the part three of the first dev server changes. Again, these are subject to change and these have all been graciously provided. Uh, so that I can just sit here and read them to you. Um, so thank you to him. Um, now, let's get into it. The ME262A BR has changed in AB from 6.3 to 6.7. And the repair cost has gone down to uh, 10,270 silver lions. The ME163s. I'm not going to read them all out, but as you can see, the ME163s have all had various stats across the board changed, uh, as have the 262s. This is, would be in direct connection to the fact that they have changed location on the tech tree. Now the 262 comes first. Um, the P47s. Uh, at least the D25 and the D28, they have also had some changes. I'm not going to go through all these changes, guys. Um, it's it's a lot of reading here, which I think um, if you pause and stop the video, it can take you a couple of seconds to read what's of interest to you, um, rather than making this whole video last for three hours. So the P38s, um, the E's, the G's, the J, the L... They've all had their stats changed. So if there's anything here in the P38s that is of interest to you, um, now's the chance to pause the video and have a read. The P51H-5 research cost, uh, they, their stats has also changed. So you know, you've got some more there. We've got some BR changes in the TBF-1C, the J21A1, J21, A2, A3. Um, these are mostly nerfs by the looks. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see how they go for people. Um, but there is also a new thread at the moment on the forums of the proposed BR changes, and I believe most of these will be listed in there as well. Unfortunately, they have chosen not to have a discussion thread on it this time. So you can't contribute to the discussion on that one. But feel free to contribute to the discussion down below in the comment section. All right, so we've also got the PE21, uh, PE2-1. We have um, the C Jesus is back. The C Meteor is back at 7.3. Um, the game has changed a lot since uh, the C Meteor was 7.3. So we'll have to see how it balances out in the game again now. I never actually felt it was that OP to start with. Um, but welcome back. Welcome back. The Meteor F4 has also dropped in battle rating, which, um, as a British player, as you can probably hear in my voice, these are all great things for me. And for yeah, any British player out there, can enjoy using this aircraft again. All right, so the Yak-15, the Yak-17, they've also had some stat changes. Um... Not performance-wise, but cost and balancing, etc. Um, the Spitfire Mark 14E has also had some changes. Uh, the C205-3. The Wyvern. The Wyvern's gone down to 4.3. That's, that's, I think, about three consecutive patches where the Wyvern has been buffed and had its BR dropped. This one here. This seems somewhat controversial. The Huey, UH-1C, has gone up in BR, well, in cost, 170,000 RP. It's now 380,000 RP. Purchasing experience of crew has almost doubled. The crew cost has almost doubled. Ace crew 
has gone up. RP multiplier has barely changed, um, but it is a buff. Uh, talisman cost has gone up. Wraith repair time has increased. I, for the life of me, this makes zero sense whatsoever. Helicopters is already the most horrendous game mode to grind in. The game mode is terrible. Um, and the helicopter is so unversatile. It's it's a one-trick pony. Um, so this change, I believe it already had these stats dropped. I'm fairly sure they're just reversing changes that they've done in the past. So uh, this, this makes no sense to me at all. Um, does this annoy you? Um, or do you not even care? Uh, comment down below. The ISU-152. The T-72B OBR-1988G. Panzer 3M. Panzer 3L. F J one J the JP one four nine M the Ariete the PSO the Type eighty nine the Centauro MGS uh, the MB T seventy the LVB V seven oh one the STR V one oh three C they've all changed this, this one here, um, I did notice, is getting a big drop in RP cost. So, that's going to be interesting. I've almost unlocked it on the on the live server, so I'm not even going to touch it now. Just going to get it for free when it comes out. Um, the B1 BIS, this here, this is also interesting. Um... It did. It always felt a bit overpowered at 2.0. Uh, at 2.3 sounds about right. Um, and I, in return, would also love to see the Matilda 3 drop down to 2.3. So these, the bit, the Bis and the Matilda 3 um, can face off against one another. Um, and it's it's quite a face off, really. If you if you haven't been in one of these tanks shooting at the other one, it is lols for days. Uh, AMX-32, the STB-1, the Type 90, the Stefano Tur, don't even know what this is, the MS-461, the MS-473, and the Folgor, again, all more vehicles that have had um, RP cost changes, um, Silver Lion costs, etc. Um, so, go through the list, if there's anything that interests you, check it out. Um, if you find it's going to ruin your day make life better um leave a comment down below and have a chat about it um and we won't stop the video we'll just jump over this is the the latest information he's added there's not much here uh the laser warning systems and aircraft protection analysis are no longer only available to devs and testers so um I'm assuming what this means is the current system that they've just implemented on the dev server for us to try um, and will be supposedly going live to test the, um, the survivability of, just like you can with um, tanks. When you shoot a tank with another tank gun, see how it, how it performs. You can now do that with aircraft if you were unaware of that. Um, that is a system I'm assuming has been in play for a while. And all it's saying here is that they've made it available to everybody. Uh, the T-72B turret has been buffed against chemical energy. Uh, the T-72B3 um, relic changes. The turret stats have changed. I really don't know how these quantify. I believe these are modifiers, like percentage modifiers to damage. Um, in those in those aspects, but um, I really can't give any more information on that because I just don't know. I'm not a coder, and I don't know how they've they've coded it. So if you have some idea whether these are buffs or nerfs, then go ahead and um, mention it below in the in the chat. All right, so 
guys, that's that's everything so far. Um, a lot of information, as as I've already said, all these that I've read out. Um, but these types of discussions are regularly found every patch or prior to every patch. There is also always a general discussions thread. Um, upcoming um, patch rumor thread. So there's one for every new patch. And if you keep track of it, um, it gives you a list of everything that has been verified, confirmed to denied. Um, it gets listed and tracked on, on the, in the first post. And then you get a great discussion of people here interested in what's coming. Um, but also, um, data miners, etc., sharing the information that they found. So that's where this information was originally discovered for, by me. Um, and where I found, uh, this, this thread, uh, with all this, this information on it. So, um, if you, if you've got some time, come and check it out. It's a great thread. Um, a lot of information in there, as you can see, it's currently 385 pages long. So um, if you want to, just sort of skip to the end and work your way back, and that'll give you the most up-to-date information um, that's currently going. And um, there you have it. Um, I hope I've given you all something to look forward to um, or given you um, new information that you may have otherwise um, not been aware of because a lot of information doesn't make it into the patch notes, um, as I'm sure you've discovered in previous patches. So, uh, there it is, guys. Thank you for watching the videos. If you've watched them all the way through, I really, really appreciate it. Please do like. Um, if, if you want to see more, subscribe, and you'll get notified whenever more videos go up. And I hope you have yourselves a great day. Bye. Thank you for watching the video. Please like and subscribe.